Look at all the other series. Oklahoma City should not have done what they did to the Lakers. Knowing that the Lakers are this good of a team that you guys say they were, this should not have happened. <laughs> They're the champions. They are a great team. I think right. if but any I'm other saying, team I'm saying, besides the Lakers played Oklahoma City, they would have lost. They, How about that? How about that, I say that? Comes, yeah, I think that's a good point. If Boston Celtics had to play the Oklahoma City Thunder right. in the first round, they would have lost. But there should, they would have lost. They, they should have been, a, I just feel, a tougher team throughout the playoffs. Their mentality was not, but they was were not right. Kobe, to get to the final. Kobe's mentality was right, but he can't do I guess it AJ himself. is thinking defending champions have to be at the peak but, but the at thing, all time. What, Here's what, what I say. Last, what the Lakers year, to do? last year, I saw. I was rude. I wanted the Lakers. I wanted the Lakers last year because they wanted it more. Like, it was there. The Pal Gasol really wanted it. You know, you see Trevor Reza when he was on the team. He was playing a key role in that he was hitting big shots with them. Ron Artest didn't do anything till Game 7, which, yeah, you could say it's a, it's a big game for him to have. It's an important game, but that's what it, to me, that's what it comes down to throughout the playoffs. This was they should have been like game 7 every single game you the playoffs know something? Game the world I was chance. I was rooting for the Boston Celtics but you know what they didn't deserve the win and you know why they didn't deserve the win because Ray Allen couldn't shoot the ball and they didn't make the proper adjustments offensively when Ray Allen was shooting terribly in game What about the bench seven? scoring what was the bench scoring in the oh, game right. 7 well, all right. horrendous. that's because your the talk, right. the talk I'm, was I'm all get, about I'm the getting Celtics off bench. this we're, we're going in circles here but we are ha- we have opinions but wait Kobe Bryant did speak after the game so I just want to get to uh, Kobe Bryant's little press conference I just wanted it so bad. I mean, I wanted it so, so bad. And um, you know, on top of that, I man, I was on, I was on E. And I was really, really tired. And you know, the, the, and the more I tried to push, the more it kept getting away from me. And um, you know, I'm just glad that my teammates you know, really got us back in the game. And you know, I was thankful that I was able to make one damn shot. At the end of the game, they made some free throws, but it was uh, it was a tough one. You know, they believed that they could beat us. You know, obviously, you know, what happened in 08, you know, but the physicality of their team, uh, how smart they are, extremely well coached. And, you know, they, the guys make big shots. I mean, it's, <laughs> it was tough. They weren't going to beat themselves. We had to beat them. So, you see, like Kobe said, this was not an easy series to win. The Celtics did play their hearts out without Kendrick Perkins. I'll say that again. Did, did, did Kobe say I was on E? Was he Kobe was. taking ecstasy? I think he meant like E, like as a gas, like a gas tank. Oh, he had no oh, gas. Oh. He, he had no gas left in the tank. <laughs> no, all I heard was I was on E. He had no gas left in the tank. I don't think he was taking X. I hope it's not. Uh, but uh, but hey, he did have God a good. Gr- he, <laughs> that, do you got now now? Maybe obviously, that's why he shot so bad. Well, but but did, did he deserve the MVP? Of course, it's Kobe Bryant. And it's Kobe Bryant. Everyone says it's Kobe yeah, Bryant. But, uh, here's the thing: was like this I, an MVP? I mean, he could have went to good song. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, here's the thing: it's it's because Kobe Bryant's on the team with you. Kobe Bryant is always going to win that MVP award. But me personally, I think, again, if Kobe Bryant was playing without Gasol, they wouldn't have won the series. Gasol is really the factor in the series. What if Gasol was playing without Kobe Bryant? <laughs> they, again, they wouldn't. They, pro- they probably wouldn't. Right, so they won. need each other. They, yeah, they need each so other. So that MVP could have been Kobe. It could have been either Kobe. of them. But the point I'm trying to make is because it's Kobe Bryant, it's he always going to go to Kobe. Go to him. Right. Well, Kobe also was asked a specific question at the press conference after the game. I just want to go to that real quick. Also, we know what it means as a team, but what about individually for you? He's got one more to check. <laughs> <laughs> So you can take that to the bank. <laughs> you know how I am. You guys know how I am. I don't forget anything. See that? That's something I like coming out of the Lakers winning this, was the fact that Kobe does have another ring. One more ring. That was good. I like that. I like that, I like too. that too. I think that was good. And obviously, I was always in favor of Kobe over Shaq. I think Shaq kind of had his issues with Kobe, and Kobe had his issues with Shaq, but I always favored Kobe. Well, it's good because um, when Shaq first left, it was all about how Kobe ran him out of town. Uh-huh. And then when Shaq won with Wade, everyone was laughing at Kobe. Oh, now you've never won without without Co- uh, Shaq. So last year definitely felt good for Kobe. But now this but year. But this year it's like, now I'm just bragging. Yeah. Well, now I'm just bragging. Well, hey, he can brag, though. He does have all the... Uh, the, he does what is he at five now? Five rings. That's, five. that's pretty good. He's getting out. He's getting close to Jordan. Phil coming back next year? Uh, we'll see. Go, I mean, go, that's up in the now, air. Now this would be now Phil's four, 
attempt for a fourth three peat. That's sick. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's tough. Yes. Yeah. Wow. That's. I you, don't know. I don't. You know. gotta go. Right. I mean, has it, nobody else. And who replaced? Who replaces Phil Jackson? I don't know. Well, they were. I mean, I think they were say, talking about Byron Scott's. That's like his dream job. I mean. Right. Well, Lakers. I mean. um... Maybe a former Lake. Oh, Mag- what about Magic? Magic. I, don't, I don't think Magic's going to. Welcome back, guys. Talking Hoops. Chataboutit.com. The only home for Talking Hoops. Powered by CBS. And, again, getting right back into this, guys. Celtics, Lakers. It's all over. Lakers are the world champions. As upset as I really am. Lakers. You really that are the upset? World- I, you know what? I just like their team. I they had. A, I just felt they had a better story going. I know you don't. But no one cares if you do or you don't. <laughs> I'm just I hate teams that just get, like, Free agents, free agents, free agents. And we're just going to get Ray Allen. We're going to get Pierce. We're going to get Garnett. That's why you hate the Yankees. You're a Mets fan. You hate the Yankees. I hate people. Well, the Mets do it, too. The Mets do it, too, now. (laughs) And they suck and they do it. Yeah. I'm just bitter. (laughs) You're you're just bitter. Yeah. You're you're, you're on E. You're running on E right now. (laughs) Running on E or taking E? Uh, Or both. All right. Uh, So, Paul Pierce. Was uh, P squared. He was met by the media after P-P. the game. PP. <laughs> PP. P-P. 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 He was. PP was met with the media after the game, and uh, here's what he had to what did he say. say. Very disappointed about the outcome. Uh, you know, I think the guys really fought their hearts off. Uh, game seven, obviously, you know, playing for the championship. Oh. And, um, Job you know, the difference was uh, obviously the rebound, and they, they really controlled the game, rebounding. And, and that was the difference in this series. Uh, you know, a team that won the rebound war pretty much. Uh, won the games, and that was uh, the thing tonight. It was, I thought we played solid defense throughout the most of the game, but you know, you get them to miss shots. We got they, they got big bodies who, who are very long, and they go off. This is the remix. I didn't know you had those guys of skills, but AJ. Yeah, I guess I guess Paul Pierce felt like rapping all. Yeah, he was like, "Well, listen, I lost Game Seven. I might as well cut myself up." He was doing an auto tune T Pain version right there. Now he started off by saying that. He's very upset about the outcome. I mean, that, that's surprising. Really? I thought he'd be ecstatic. I think, think everybody, shape, everybody. Is he shape he, now? everybody. everybody. It's kind of like when, when you hear about so. when you hear players in press conferences. They always ask, "What? Well, what's it going to be? You know, what's it like going to be able yeah. to play for this team?" They're, oh, it's great. You know, yeah. what is Avery Johnson was uh, accepted uh, as the head coach. He got the job for, for the, the New Nets. Jersey Nets, and they ask him, and he, "Oh, sky's the limit for New Jersey. Everything." Yeah. But like, even I if it's like, not, I want to hear like the truth. Say, yeah, why would he yeah. say, "Oh, well, I just took this job because I needed the money." Yeah, yeah. I want to hear. I don't sucks. have a job like, right, right now. Well, this well, team, to they, be honest with you, I took this yeah, job. And I'm really pretty nervous because they only had 12 wins last yeah. year. The, yeah, this I really th- needed a paycheck. I needed a paycheck. I just foreclosed on my million-dollar home. <laughs> TNT wasn't paying right. enough. So like, <laughs> when you, obviously, that's the first thing that comes out of uh, everybody, you know, most players' yeah. mouths during press conferences. But, hey, he, he is upset. I think that whole Celtics team really wanted it. And... You know, it just didn't work out. We also had uh, Doc Rivers. Hopefully, Doc Rivers isn't rapping. That'd be a little Doc, awkward. I mean, Doc. But I'd like to hear that. Yeah, I'd like to. Well, it'd be a little interesting. Yeah. But yeah, all right, Doc this on is the block. Doc Rivers <laughs> caught at the press conference. It was a hell of a series, and um, you know, it was just a tough, tough game for either team to lose. I thought both teams played uh, terrific. Um, I thought both teams played hard, and um, I think it goes to show you that you can have an 83 and 79 game and it'd be a great game because both teams play great defense and um, you could see that it was tough getting shots um, I thought the um, Lack of size at the end of the day was the difference in the game our test was was unbelievable the three our tests made uh, You know you think about some of the shots they made you know, late clock uh, three by our test Fisher uh, rainbow over uh, Rondo and then again, the foul uh, call on uh, Ray. Oh, that's nine points. You know, uh, they scored 30 points in the fourth quarter. And you know, for us, a defensive group, that's that's the toughest part to swallow. Um, that we gave up 30 points. I mean, we scored 22, but we gave up 30. We had great motion and movement throughout the game, and then that one stretch, we stopped. Um, you know, and, and it hurt us uh, because they were scoring and. One of the things I was trying to get our group to understand is we can go on scoring droughts, but they can't go on scoring. Uh, they can't score. Uh, the problem was we went on that drought and they scored. We just had a goal to get here, and that was our goal and, and to win it. Um, so whatever we had to go through was worth it. The injuries, the um, uh, you know, the chemistry, just everything. Whatever it was, wor- it was worth it at the end of the day, and I think every guy would tell you that. 